Hello everyone, glad to meet you all. These days we have been learning and the various tricks in photography, shooting and the photos. Now, uh, to enhance the photos that we have taken, uh, we have what we call the photo editing apps. Uh, if you go into the uh, Play Store, you have very many editing apps. Now, which one to choose will be a, a confusion for us. And today I'm going to present to you one simple and effective app. The name of the app is Snapseed. Snapseed. Okay, we shall go straight. I shall reduce my image and take you straight there. I'm taking the Snapseed. Okay, to the left you have. Okay. I'll place myself at the corner. Okay, to the to the left you have something all uh, open. Press the press the open button and choose the, an image that you have stored, uh, maybe in the internal memory or in the SD card. So I'll choose one of mine that I have taken. Okay, here is the image, and so now. Images set and there are tools to enhance the image right at the, uh, at the bottom or to the right you have the uh, pencil tool press that just call that tools press that and you have so many options left to that so uh, let's start doing one by one there are very many options in this app we are not going to deal with all of them just handful of them that uh, that would help us uh, I will leave it to you to explore the rest. Okay, the first one is the tune image. Press that and you right on top you have something called that brightness. So to increase the brightness, what to do? Now how to increase? Put your finger at the middle of the photo and move to the right or to the left. If you move to the right, the brightness, brightness increases. Let's see. So the increases in percentage and you see it has really brightened okay move to the left and it is dark okay that so it's very easy to 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 make it so if you move to the right or to the left you will see the changes now you can also move up and down and very many other options are there let's see contrast saturation ambience highlight so, so so many are there I'm not going to deal with all of them let's say well, let's take one shadows and there are shadows in the image so to we can remove those shadows at least a bit even in my my face has got shadows you see slight change in the in the shadows there so that's that's it okay the rest you you explore it Okay, now if you want to keep the change to the right, you have a tick mark. Press that. Okay. I'm going to press that. Okay, the change has been accepted. Now, you can use the next tool. Press again the tool. And maybe we want to crop the image. In the second row, you have crop. So there are preset sizes. You can either choose them or you know you choose manually. Press inside the the image, and at the four corners you have the marks. So you can reduce the images as you uh, as you like. Okay, so so we are cropping the image a bit. So I want to keep the change. I, I'm going to press the tick that is at the right. Okay, so the, the, cha the change is accepted. Okay, the next one. Okay, um, selective. In the third row, you have something called selective. Now we can choose particular spots in the image and increase the brightness. So I'm going to point few places and then increase the brightness put your hand there and you see B there so after the putting the spot there now move here 
finger to the right and that spot the brightness of the spot increases now you can choose multiple spots below you have what we call the plus symbol press that and press inside the image you get the next spot and increase it move to the right now choose some other spot again press plus and press it inside the image so you choose as many spots as you prefer and almost you can increase you can change the change everything within the image so that is that is a spot highlights okay if you want to keep the change keep it so press the tick okay the next tool what shall we uh, so you can explore by yourself or oh, another important one is the text adding text so i'll choose the text okay double tap to change the text here double tap on the image and the okay i'm going to type happy maybe learning happy learning okay that's it so the words have come we can place them wherever we would like to place them so now to change the the settings uh, or the model you go down press what we call there is a square type press that and you have another variety okay choose whatever you like maybe a simple one or, or a complicated one uh, as we would like to use them okay so you have different varieties there okay so that's it then you move the press on those letters and move them to the place where you would like to keep them so that's a titling the image color choose the color whatever color you would want to maybe i'll choose something darker or lighter okay so that's it so now the rest i leave it to you to explore okay now after doing all this now you will have to export it okay now that we have uh, more or less adjusted uh, now we need to save them or send them so uh, there are three icons at the right side there are downward arrow mark press that and you have the options share save export export as okay now you choose share if you press it takes little time to save and then gives us the place where we could be exporting through okay so that's it okay then i'm sure you will go into it more and more and then explore uh, the various possibilities uh, that this app offers for us okay then bye